As regards uh, the situation with uh, commodity block of currencies, here we are in front of uh, very important economic data publications as well as uh, kind of uh, monetary policy decisions uh, in case of uh, dollar Canada, for example. Let's uh, first of all to start with the Aussie dollar. We still at the moment is uh, more or less uh, neutral and uh, stable uh, over the course of last uh, pair of sessions. Anyway, I think that uh, during today and uh, during the night hours uh, when the data of uh, uh, the data about um, the state of Australian uh, labor market will be released. I think the market uh, should move in uh, one or another direction a little bit stronger than uh, we see over the past couple of uh, couple of sessions. We suggest uh, that, uh, of course, from the point of view of uh, a better reading of employment uh, report in uh, Australia that should raise the chances of uh, uh, the chances of uh, sooner uh, hike from the part of uh, Royal Bank of Australia. The same applies for the New Zealand dollar, where the New Zealand consumer price inflation will be published around 23.45 Greenwich time. Also here, in case of higher reading, uh, expectations uh, regarding uh, uh, regarding the first increase uh, from the part of New Zealand uh, Central Bank also should uh, prevail and in that case uh, the New Zealand dollar should receive a kind of support. The dollar Canada today is a Bank of Canada rate decision. Also the monetary policy report and rate statement should be published with following Bank of Canada press conference conducted by the governor of the bank Mr. Polos. Uh, the majority of market participants don't expect a kind of hike from the Bank of Canada during today's uh, meeting, but anyway, it will be very important uh, how uh, Mr. Polos uh, will conduct its press conference and should it hint to a um, uh, future uh, rise from the part of Bank of Canada. I think that based on the current strength of the Canadian economy and uh, successful uh, negotiations rega regarding NAFTA agreement, all in all, uh, the market should be ready for a kind of next interest rate uh, uh, hike in uh, probably not during this uh, meeting, but probably during a, a May's uh, kind of meeting. Anyway, we also should be ready for a kind, a kind of surprise from the part of Bank of Canada, because as you can see, the last data uh, inflation data will be uh, was quite import uh, was quite uh, encouraging in uh, Canada that means that probably uh, the bank of canada will be ready to hike the rates even today and uh, finally the dollar ruble uh, where we could uh, where we witness a kind of um, a, uh, reasonable stability and uh, let's see the uh, the graph of uh, dollar ruble which is uh, around uh, 6181 at the moment. Here, uh, probably the pair should now be locked in the range of uh, 60 per 65. Anyway, we suggest that, that in case of uh, testing the lower side, uh, probably uh, it will be um, worth man uh, it will be worth to buy uh, to buy the pair. Also, in case of approaching the 65 barrier. It should be, um, it should appear a kind of a stronger selling interest in the pair. Anyway, we are ready to buy it around 60-20 on the possible retest of psychologically important level of 60, and still suggest that probably in the future we will retest the upper side of current uh, current range. It was your future trend channel. See you later and have a nice day ahead.